The Demon Collection goes up for auction. Fisker hits another stumbling block with its high-tech karma. The Cyan FRS arrives on dealer lots. And we've spotted the 2014 Jeep Liberty. I'm Jake with the Wednesday edition of Auto Week TV. Let's get to the news. For years, Michael Dingman, a former Ford Motor Company director, acquired and preserved a large collection of unique vehicles, each restored to the best of its type. Now, some of these vehicles will be offered for auction with no reserve. Some of the more unique vehicles to roll across the stage in Hampton, New Hampshire this weekend will include a 1989 Porsche Speedster, a 1962 Lincoln Continental Convertible, and a 1936 Ford Custom Cabriolet with a custom body by European coach builder Glazer. The Continental is expected to sell for about $55,000, while the Porsche and Ford should fetch about $225,000 each. The Fisker Karma is already off to a bit of a rocky start, with the recall already having been issued for 239 vehicles to relocate hose clamps within the battery. The hose clamps could allow coolant to leak and cause a short in the battery, which could lead to a fire hazard. The expansion of the recall is due to a clerical error on the part of Fisker. The 2013 Scion FRS hit dealer lots on Monday with a base price of $24,200. The FRS includes a 2-liter boxer engine developed by Subaru that produces 200 horsepower. The car is expected to be capable of a 0-60 to 60 time of 7.5 seconds. For more info, check out AutoWeek's drive review at AutoWeek.com. Now for you off-road fans, the 2014 Jeep Liberty has been spy testing in Alfa Romeo guys. The new Liberty, codenamed UJ, will be available with a new 3.2 liter V6 and a 9-speed automatic transmission. It will also be making the move to front-wheel drive. The 2014 Liberty is expected to debut at the Detroit Auto Show. That's the news for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow, but until then, enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto and business news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek Magazine and iPad Edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.